Hey there everyone, Lenny Rudo here for Boat US. Today, we're doing a little sequel to our original chart reading video because NOAA has phased out those old raster charts, which were digital scans of paper charts, in favor of vector ENC electronic navigational charts. Now these are digitally built from the ground up. These look a little different from those raster charts and there are some important things that you need to know before using them for navigation. First, let's look at how you find these things. Instead of ordering a paper chart, just go to NOAA's online chart viewer. This is free, and it's an example of your tax dollars at work, so try it any time. Now zoom in on the area you want to look at by scrolling your mouse or positioning the chart in the center of the screen and clicking the little plus sign. The red lines outline each digital chart's area of coverage. When you get zoomed in beyond the red line, bam, the chart and all of its details pop right up. But like we said, there are some changes. First, notice the depth soundings are no longer given in feet, they're in meters. The smaller number is the fraction of meters. So this four with a small eight means the depth here is 4.8 meters. There are some unfamiliar icons here too, like this cross. That signifies that the landmark here is a church or religious institution. Now, there are literally hundreds of these icons, so we can't go through all of them one by one in this video. But we can tell you what you need to know to identify them. See here on the bottom of the screen where it says legend? Just click on that and poof, you get a PDF document that covers everything you could possibly want to figure out. Going digital gives you some really cool new abilities too. Let's say I want to find a specific location like Selby Bay. I can just type it up here in the search box and bam, I'm there. Or I can click on the menu over here and adjust what details are being displayed on the chart. I can even cheat a little bit and change those meters right back into feet. Now, here's one of the handiest tools in the mix. To measure distance, instead of breaking out the old compass and walking it along the chart, I can just click on this little ruler icon, press the control key, and click my mouse to measure out distance. Wow, now that makes pre-planning a trip one heck of a lot easier. Here's the link, folks. When you get a chance to check it out, try playing around with these new ENC charts in NOAA's Chart Viewer. You'll find them particularly helpful for pre-planning when you're exploring new areas and taking those long voyages. Plus, yes, you can pull up the viewer on your phone when you're off the dock. Well, boaters, I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to click below and subscribe so you don't miss any future Boat US videos as they roll out.